of God that I and I have known through the years was a guy named John Potter, Dr. John Potter, an unusual man. He was in the Battle of the Bulge. He was a medical doctor as a young guy, and he was in the Battle of the Bulge. How many know what that was? That was in the, the largest battle in the history of mankind was fought in 1944 uh, in, against Germany. You know, and Ger they call it the bulge because Hitler was trying to literally push the Allies into the ocean. All right? Now, he didn't succeed, thank you, Jesus. But Dr. Potter was a part of that. People were being killed all over the place. It was a horrible time. And he said at the time he was not a believer. But how many know that's a good motivation when you're in the middle of that kind of historical deal? And you think, I may not get out of here alive. And so he called on Jesus. And he said it was amazing because he said the people on either side of me were killed. Either side. And so he said, I'm so glad I called on him when I called on him. He never forgot that. And he got filled with the Holy Spirit later on. And God brought him to the church. And he was a guy that he had a lot of mercy. He really did. Um, not many doctors will visit you in your home when you're sick. you got to go to their clinic or something, yeah. all right? He would visit you. I and I, I remember we, we had been married a year, and we were having a big conference, and we couldn't make it because we both had the flu. We were sick and at the same time. See, that's tough at the same time, you know? I'd get up to get something for Ryan and pass out, you know, and yeah, and so we managed to get enough breath to call for Dr. Potter. He said, I'll be right there. So he comes in, he said, I'm going to do two things for you. He said, I'm going to give you the prayer of faith and the needle of assurance, he said. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what happened. And, but boy, his prayers were powerful. You know, we saw things happen. He saw two people raised from the dead, this brother, because of the compassion that flowed in him. This, this one, this one uh, set of parents brought this young Willard baby, and he had died, and he had been dead, I don't know how many hours. And Dr. Potter was there trying to revive the child, and they had the firemen in there, and everything. And, uh, but he was dead. And then Dr. Potter said, uh, I don't know if you believe that God can raise the dead. And you can join in with me on my prayer. If you don't believe, then just be quiet. And so he laid hands on his little baby, rebuked death, and the child came back to life again. Yeah. Yeah, and the firemen made a hole in the wall getting out of there, you know. <laughs> they were real unbelievers, man. They did, didn't believe anything like that was possible in these days. Everybody say, all things are possible. And in Christ, absolutely.